So George Adams Interventional Cardiology, it's wonderful to have you here with us today. We've got two pieces which are sterile and non-sterile. The sterile piece is the actual catheter that actually delivers the therapy. The second piece, which is non-sterile, is the wand or the connector cable that actually hooks to the generator. To keep the whole system sterile, we actually use a sterile sleeve. Now my technician, who is non-sterile, is going to hand it off to me. So I grab the sterile sleeve. As you can see, the sterile sleeve has two ends. One end is triangular and the other end is square. What we're going to do first is actually reach in the square portion of the sleeve. And there's actually a ledge, a panel, which we're going to pull out such that it actually opens up the tunnel of the sleeve all the way to the base of this triangle. Now my non-sterile technician is going to drop the actual connector cable into the sleeve and it's going to come all the way to the bottom of the triangle as you can see here. She's going to grab the actual sleeve. I'm going to hold the actual connector cable and it comes all the way out as you can see. Now what we would like to do there's also two components on the sleeve. One is the actual rubber bands, and the other is actually a piece of sticky tape, which we'll go through. So I'm gonna remove the rubber bands, and before I do anything else, I'm gonna leave a portion of area on this triangle, usually before it actually starts to make the actual graduation of the triangle. I'm gonna take a rubber band, as you can see, and I've actually cupped it, the triangular piece and come around the actual device. I rotate it down to below the actual impulse button. I'm going to make one more loop. The rubber band is going to keep the actual plastic piece taut against the device. And I've released the actual uh, sticky tape. Then what we're going to do is there is actually a perforated region um, at the triangular portion of this uh, sleeve. I'm just going to pull it and the perforation actually tears, actually opening up the hole uh, to this non-sterile uh, wind or connector cable. Next what we're going to do is we've actually got our actually lithotripsy balloon. You pull the red piece off and as you can see these two devices will actually marry. It's, mag it's a magnetic connector. I'm going to come in to the sterile sleeve and as you can see it actually pulls it to it, and you want good apposition of the uh, connector cable to the balloon. If it doesn't seal well, if it's not well opposed, then you'll get an error signal actually on your generator. So you just need to move it around a little bit. You may even have to pull it apart again and then reconnect it, okay? Once this is connected, then what we do is we take this piece of tape, which again is sterile, and the way you open this up, on one end it says tear here, on the other end is clear. You want to come from the clear end. You want to peel it. So I took it like this and I just peel this white piece off. And now what we're able to do is we're able to tape the actual balloon lithotripsy catheter to the actual connector cable such that now we have a, a secure uh, seal on the distal end where your connector cable is and on the proximal end where your actual uh, balloon is and it leaves you uh, the space for you to press your therapy button open. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our non-sterile um, technician is going to actually plug the connector cable in and what it does is the a uh, generator recognizes the actual catheter that it's connected to. It's a peripheral catheter, so what we're going to see is that there's 300 pulses that can be delivered, and to the left we have a full battery. And it actually lists the balloon size. So this is a 5.5 by 60 millimeter uh, balloon lithotripsy uh, catheter. The other thing we'll notice is that it's yellow, so this is more or less um, uh, a precautionary measure. You can't deliver therapy while it's yellow. It's like a yield sign more or less, such that when we once we get the catheter and the balloon in place across the lesion, then we're able to push the button 
and when the button's pushed, it turns green, and that means go or, or therapy can be delivered.